What's up, YouTube? Eric here, Mr. Fired Up Wealth. July is here, and you're wondering what stocks should I buy now? Well, frankly, we don't know where the market's going to head. So these are stocks that I think are attractive here, and they could possibly go lower. So I always use dollar cost averaging. I'm going to show you some price ranges on each of these and tell you where I think the stocks might go. So this is going to give you an idea, a range where you might want a dollar cost average. Of course, the market can always go lower. If you're not looking to buy now, you at least have an idea of stocks to put on your watch list. You're gonna to wanna to see this one, guys. Stay tuned. All right, these stock picks are not in any particular order, but one of my favorite stocks, I call semiconductors the new oil, and my favorite semiconductor, the number one stock, is NVIDIA, and I think it's getting attractive at these levels. Right now, it's trading at $154. It's a $400 billion, very large cap. It does have a small dividend yield, 0.1%. PE ratio is 42.85, so you could argue it's still expensive. It has the way, ways to go down. Now, it did get down today, just today. It got down to $151.70. That's also the 52 week low so that's important to note that just happened here on the 29th of june and part of the reason is a couple of these semiconductor stocks have received analyst downgrades on the price targets we're starting to see price target downgrades across the board on lots of different stocks nvidia is no exception you've seen a couple of those today let's look at a chart really fast i'll show you where i think this could go all right so nvidia we've been tracking this really closely we do chart day every single wednesday morning in Patreon Discord, we cover this one pretty much every week. And you can see, you know, 155 dollars that bounce range, 152 to 155. It got down in that same range today, got down just around that $152, a little bit less today, as you saw earlier, 151 and change. And you know, what I told the group this morning is that I'm leaning 55% bullish, that's gonna hold up that 150 price level. If it doesn't, it would kind of come down in this 135 to 150 price range here that I have circled. And I called it kind of a 50-50 jump ball with a 55% leaning bullish that's going to hold that $150 price mark. So far, it's done that. Bounced nicely. It's bounced four and a half dollars or or five bucks or so off those lows of the day. And I think this is an opportunity when it gets in that range. If it gets lower, if it if it does get where the circle is, I think it's a strong buy. Definitely, if you don't own this one already, put it on your watch list. Nvidia ticker NVDA. Okay, this next stock is cybersecurity. It's SaaS. We've talked about this on the channel before. I've done a breakdown. It's a smaller cap company. I really like this one a lot, and I think it, it's really underappreciated. I think this stock could do very well. I don't think it's that expensive. The EVNT, listen to some of these stats before I reveal what it is. See if you can guess what it is. EVNTM revenue is 8X, okay? That's not cheap by any means, but it's also not 15 to 20X like we see a lot of these. 86% gross margin, 69% rule of 40. It has a very high rule of 40 score, one of the top when you think of SaaS. And it has free cash flow. The free cash flow on it's 29%. Can you guess what it is? The ticker on it is KNBE. This is no before. This is training as a service. So it's software as a service that's basically training on what not to do, cybersecurity awareness training. And this is a $3 billion market cap, small cap. It's down 48% in the 52 week. This was a new IPO last year in 2021. So of course this is a SaaS recurring revenue, high margins. I like this one a lot. Know before cybersecurity awareness training. If you wanna know more about this stock, I've got a deep dive. I'll put a, a card up above. Go check this out, go dig into it. I think you'll like this one a lot, know before. Okay, I get it. Some of you are going to hate on this. It was a SPAC. Some people say it's a meme stock. SoFi, small cap, $5 billion market cap. It's trading at $5.47. This thing was $24.65. The 52-week range, the low, $4.82. Thing has been hammered. Now, a lot of people are trying to compare this to a bank. So when you look at banks, generally you use price to book ratio. Well, let's look at a price to book ratio on SoFi to see where it's at. Okay, SoFi price to book, 0.98. So it's, it's trading less than price to book, 0.98. Now it's not profitable and it doesn't have a dividend, but let's just go look at say Bank of America and compare what the price to book is. Bank of America, 1.09. Now again, Bank of America has a dividend, SoFi doesn't. Bank of America is profitable, has a P ratio, SoFi doesn't. But SoFi is also growing at a much larger clip than one of those traditional banks. 
and it offers much more than those traditional banks as well. So I understand that everybody wants to throw SoFi in the garbage, but I think that if you can get this stock for $5, it goes lower, $5 or less, put it in your spec bucket. I think it's I think it's one that, in my opinion, seems like a no-brainer when it gets to that $5 range. If it gets back under $5, seriously take a look at it, even where it's at right now, SoFi. Yes, it's a $2.2 trillion market cap. Yes, it's a 22.3 PE ratio, and it's higher than the historic PE ratio. But the thing is, guys, this does pay a nice dividend. It's DGIF. It's 0.67% dividend. Trade right now at $139. I think if you can get it $135 or less, even where it's at right now, dollar cost average. But if this gets down, that 52-week range was $129. If you can get this below $130, say it goes to $125, in my opinion, you'll be, you'll be very happy with this one longer term. Apple, I have to include it on the list because it's getting to the, the point where I think it's getting attractive. We're going to have earnings season coming up here, so there's always risk that these go lower. So again, with these stocks, I'm not saying that Apple go out and run, run and buy it and load up at $140 necessarily. But if it gets back down to, say, $130 or less, maybe it gets to $125, I think you should at least put it on your radar, Apple. The fifth stock is next, and it's a curveball. You know how I like curveballs. Before I do that, I do have to announce, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. If you wanna see the 10 best stocks to buy now, visit fool.com backslash fired up wealth. And again, guys, I wanna stress, what I say in these videos, my opinion, they're not telling me what stocks to cover or what to say on the channel, okay? So the fifth one, Curveball. This is gonna be more of a DGI, DGIF type play. Now it's one that I don't own and I've been kind of following this stock, I swear, for years. It's Polaris. It's a 15 P ratio, 2.46% dividend yield. If you aren't familiar with what they do, they're located in Medina. That's Minnesota if you're not familiar. So they design engineer manufacturers. You think of ATVs, you think of all-terrain vehicles, snow bikes, snowmobiles, things like that, right? So Polaris, everything from jet skis, basically recreational vehicles. Now, if we're going to go into a recession, this is a stock that people are going to throw away. So I'm not saying go buy it at 102. The 52-week low on it was May 2nd at $94. If it gets back in that range, say it gets $90 or less, I think it'd be very attractive getting closer to a 3% dividend yield, getting closer to a 13 P ratio, something like that. So small cap, $6 billion. This is one that you would hold, accumulate the dividend. You would hold it till you come on the other side. It's going to be cyclical and it's going to be worth a lot more. When the economy gets back on track, things start getting good again, this will be good. So this one is one you have to be careful. This is consumer discretionary. It could take a long time to recover. I want to put it on your radar because I think that if it gets back down here in that $90 range, it'd be a good one to accumulate, especially with the dividend. I appreciate your time and attention. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do that now. Click that bell to get notifications. Hit the like button, drop a comment. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.